Wait, pause this a second and tell me how many times have you looked this up? I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've searched this, thought about this or watched videos on this. I've come to realize that we're often led to believe that we need to look a certain way, act a certain way, do things a certain way in order to be happy, healthy and successful. I myself have believed this for the longest of time and for the longest of times I thought that there was a magic spell that I could look for. I thought that if I had the perfect morning routine, that if I ate only the healthiest of foods and if I were always productive, I wouldn't feel like such a failure. But then I asked myself, what does failing even mean? Have I failed to be at the point in my life that it is expected for a person my age? Have I failed to look like our society's definition of healthy, beautiful and successful? Or have I just failed to take care of my body the way it deserves to be taken care of? And if I wanted to do that, where do I start? The only answer I could find is, just start. For the next six months, I will be learning how to love and take care of my body. It's not exactly the gap year expected, but definitely worth my time. So get ready for six months of healthy foods, some not so healthy, but definitely tasty. Get ready for six months of me attempting to be productive and keep procrastination to minimum. Six months of workouts, yoga, meditations, visualizations, books, TVs, films, new and old hobbies. But more than anything, get ready for six months of smiles, crying sessions and self-love. I hope you enjoy coming along on my adventure. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet.